Hi creators, can you use glue to make a medium for paint? Yes, you can. So I'm gonna show you real quick how to mix up some glue medium. Making a medium out of glue, you're gonna use glue and water. So I got these cups. This is a four cup container and I bought it at the dollar store. I think everything's going up to $1.25, you guys, you tell me. I don't know. So if I want to make a cup of the medium, uh, I'm going to do two thirds. Okay. So that's what? 65% or something like that of the glue and one third of water. That's about what I'm comfortable with. Now, if I thought this was too thin, I could add a little more glue and thicken it up. And if I think it's too thick, I could add a little more water and make it thinner. So one thing is, is you can mix up some medium here with the glue and water. And then depending upon the kind of painting you're going to do, you might need, you can might be able to leave it just as it is, or you might have to thin it out a little bit or thicken it up a little bit. So that's one thing about glue that you, that is good. Okay. Because these other ones, you know, they're not really allowing you to do that. So I'm going to face this towards me a little bit so I can see. Here's my glue. So I'm going to put two thirds glue. One, I'm not making a bunch. I hope that's not disturbing that I'm doing it in this big cup. It's if you're going to do a lot of painting with um, the glue, then it's good to make a whole bunch. But I just thought it's an easy calculation, right? Let me let it settle a little bit. I mean, it depends what size of paintings you're doing, you know. I don't know um, what size canvas you're into. Um, how many ounces is one cup? Only eight ounces, huh? Okay, I'm getting there. I'm at the one half for sure. I think I'm going to be about at the two thirds. Let me just a little tiny bit more like that. Oh yeah. Let's see. Oh, okay. Look, just a wee bit over a wee bit over the two thirds. So it's okay though, because I've got plenty of that water to mix with it. When you first start, probably, I mean, it's maybe not even when you first start. It's just always good to kind of measure it so you know where it's at. All right. So now I've got some water here. So let's take it to the cup line. And because I went over the two-thirds, I might have to take the water up a little bit. Let's see. Where's the water? Is it there? Yeah, it's there. Might be just above it. Okay. So I'm going to get a stick. You get these at Home Depot. You get about 30 of them for, I don't know. Well, I'm not exactly sure how much it is, but I'm going to do this for you so you can see it. I see it's all, you're like, does that, that really, that mixes? Yeah, so it's going to mix. Looks funny right now, but it's going to mix. I'm just going to mix it up. So like if you have kids at home, you know, and they need glue, <laughs> they do a lot of projects with glue. It's a win-win. And if you're just starting out and you're totally on a budget, you're like, listen, I am broke and I'm trying to find some fun stuff to do because I cannot afford to go to those paint parties for $40. And I just want something to do, you know, so I have, have, you know, and don't want to be creative. You can start paint pouring. You can find canvases on sale. You can find small canvases at the dollar store sometimes. Oh, sorry about that. My phone's not muted. Okay, looks like it's mixed up. So let's check out the consistency of it. That was pretty fast. Here's the consistency. So you can see it plop onto, you see it plop onto the glue. I mean, onto the top of the glue, right? And then it disappears. So I'd say that's perfect. That's about perfect. 
So 60, 40, I'd say 65, 35. 65 glue and 35% water. There, now I have my own homemade medium. So now what am I gonna do? Well, I probably should store it in something, right? So I have these cups. So that holds about 18 ounces. And then I did have, I do have some lids that I got at the dollar store. And it doesn't fit on there very tight. Oh yeah, it does. You see, you can snap that on there. Now it does have this for pouring. Okay, it's kind of stuck because I had some paint in there, but I just keep it closed. I just take the lid off. So I'm gonna put the paint in here. I mean, not the paint, I'm sorry. I'm confusing people probably. I'm gonna put the glue in here so I can store it. Okay, now, if you're like me, I would look at this two weeks later and go, is that glue or is that white paint? What the heck is that? I don't know what it is. So, <laughs> I say it's good to go ahead and label everything. So, I'm going to put on here glue, glue, medium. Keep it real simple. And I'll just label this cup. And then I've got it. So, there. Now, how do I mix this with my paints? Hey, good question. So, it depends upon what kind of paint you're going to use and how much. Okay, I'll show you real quick how to mix your craft paint with the glue medium. This is what I do with craft paint. So, I don't have a scale, but I use a tablespoon. You can use any size spoon. So put one tablespoon of this crimson color craft paint. And then I'm going to add two tablespoons of glue. And that should give me about the same consistency that the medium has. So it keeps it all pretty even. Now, if I was using one of those two paints that you see back there, I would probably have to add some water to it. Maybe a little more glue, but then I would add water. And I can show y'all how to do that too in another video. But you'll see here it mixes up really easy. And that's how you wanna do it with the craft paint. Here we go. And then I'll show you how it flows off the stick. And then you're ready to get started doing some paint pours. You see that there? It's about the same consist consistency that the glue was. And there you have it. That's it. Cheap way to make some medium. And then if you're starting with craft paints, another fairly inexpensive way to mix up some paints. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day. So, some, so yeah. So here it is. Uh, you know, I just did it on the fly. And uh, it's uh, craft paints, you guys. Craft paints and glue, except for the 24 karat gold. It's all craft paints and it looks pretty good. So, yes, you can paint with craft paints. You'll probably want to move on to two paints later. But if you're on a budget, you can have fun with the craft paint.